well thanks a lot for your response on the last level up thing i mean this xp thing so i am making the part 2 let's begin well for this part i have thought about all of this stuff and probably this too if i get some time but anyways so first of all you have to do set up the label message thing well 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 let's go to the damn model and where is it guild config well to be honest this guild config thing have way too much stuff so making another model will be good if you want you can do that but uh, i don't really have a problem with not making another model so i'm just gonna follow along first of all we need our level up message so let me do xp level up message well let's make it an object all right so first of all we will have a message property it will be a damn string of course So let's begin real quick. We have set up our database. Well, let me do a bit of more stuff like setting up default values. You know, let's like for example, if it's Boolean, so I'm gonna do something like type will be Boolean and default will be false. I guess that's how we spell default. All right, guys, so I have completed the default stuff. Well, as you can see, you can just copy that paste, copy and paste it up, and let's begin real quick. So I will start with the XP rate. Where is it? Where is it, guys? Uh, where is XP rate, man? There it is. So now you might ask, Shishu, what the heck is XP rate? It is like by how much percent XP will increase? One refers to 100%. It is just simple math. I hope you know about that. And if you don't, uh, just follow along. So first of all, I will need to do data dot uh, XP rate. That's all. I just have to multiply it with the rate. I mean, like if the rate is 50%, that is half, then its value will be 0 0.5. So, for example, if normally XP is equal, uh, was something like 10, and if you multiply it by 0 0.5, it will be equal to 5, and that is the half. Simple math, I guess. So, XP rate thing is done. Now comes XP limit, up and down. So, this plus 5 is the down limit, and this 15 is up limit minus down limit. It's pretty simple math, too. So, first of all, I will do data.xp limit dot up minus data dot xp limit dot down anyways let me copy this down limit thing and let me paste it in the five and guys our xp rate and xp limit is dynamic now we just have to set up few more stuff let me check out the to do and you can see the level up message left these two thingies done we have to get the channel let channel is equals to uh, message dot kill dot channels dot cache dot get and then this is the channel id all right so it will be equals to data dot xp level up dot something then this means we will get the channel right here but what if the value is zero or something else then the value will be equal to message dot channel all right i will tell you why i'm and why i am doing this but just wait a second and let me just do another thing if dot enable is false like me if it is not enabled then just return simple as that otherwise we will do all of this all right guys so now we have our channel and we will send the message but you might ask how the heck they're going to ma make that message uh, like automatic so we will do simply a simple thing we will do data dot level up uh, level up uh, is, is it level up it is xp level up sorry for my bad memory level up dot message and now we have to just replace we are going to replace mention let me do it real quick m e n t i o n mention and then we will provide a simple thing message dot author dot to string in order to mention the guy and we will replace few more things like we will replace uh, the label thing uh, where is it so we have to replace this label via user data dot label and we can do one more thing well you can replace anything it it is just depending on your thoughts and i mean it depends on you and i'm just going to add one for xp so that's it our level up thing is also done i mean we have the damn channel right here if someone will set channel to a particular channel then we will send message to that one otherwise to the channel where the user sent the message and we have the custom message and we can enable and disable them as well 
so everything is done let's just make a command for setting them up like i think we do have a command we just have to add an option where is that admin and xp.js we just have enable and disable now i will start by expirate because that is pretty simple to do like copy paste and then expirate type is this and then the description will be so guys we are done with our options everything is done you can see ignore seller option is also needed so let's add that thing as well so guys now we are done with everything when we have to set up the real stuff uh, we are done with the options but we have to do the real deal now so let's start with well let's open this xpjs in that file th there as well so now we have our option here first of all we will need to do the xp rate let's begin so let me just go like this copy and oh xp rate so this command is for changing the xp rating of course so first of all we will do const rate is equals to uh, interaction dot options dot get uh, xp rate all right so now we have our xp rate and what we are going to do is if rate is less than zero or if rate is more than something what can be that thing uh sh well should i add a up limit well i'm just going to add a up limit of 1000 so it is like you cannot have a thousand percent of xp increment rate all right and if rate do not exist well it is not really possible let's just add something like if no value then well it is not possible so if the rate if the condition is any of this condition is true then we are going to return and we will do interaction dot added reply and it the message will be pretty simple it will be i don't know why i typed that much but yeah it is fine so now we have to do a small little thing we have to find one and update the stuff so now what do we have to change where is my guild config and there is the xp rate so we have to change the xp rate to whatever the value these guys give and divided by 100 and i guess this is it we did it thank you very much my friends and now we just need this interaction edit reply thing right here and just paste it and shall we just throw that thing right here uh boom all shift f pretty simple so guys now we are done and here let me see rate percent so we did it now we are done with this after xp rate we have xp limits let me just do the damn thing real quick Control plus v and let's copy them paste them now if i just copy this and paste it right here so now we are done here now we have to just change we, are, we just have to do this so first of all let's copy it and paste it and now we have to get the damn things like first of all up limit i will just name it ul uh, well it kind of feels like an ordered list but yeah it is a thing so options dot get and the name will be what is the name bro the name is up limit and anyways up limit is done now we will need a dl not a driving license but down limit well down limit and guess what we are done that's all we have to do so we have to do few if checks as well we have to check whether the up limit is less than zero well first of all we will check if down limit is greater greater than an up limit like if this condition is true then bro that guy is insane how the hell down limit can be more than the up limit so we will ignore that and then we have our up limit up limit should be greater than zero and should i have a cap for this limit as well i guess it will be fine if it will be equals to like thousand yeah thousand thousand will work or if down limit is less than zero or if down limit is greater than thousand so if any of this condition is true we will say please provide valid xp increment limits from uh, 1 to 1000 you can see this thing this up limit thing 
and we should just do this and then math dot float so that we are going to get an integer value math dot float as well and we did it guys we are ready to go and by the way dl and it is not up bro it is ul my bad guys why did it do told me mate but anyways the thing is done increment change to now i will say uh slash n will be dollar ul slash and down limit well let's add a space bar instead it will be dl pretty simple so now we are done with our message let me just change those thingies let me check the database xp limit okay not a big deal we can just do this xp limit dot up its value will be equal to ul comma xp limit dot down its value will be equal to dl so now we have changed the stuff and i guess we are almost done we changed the damn xp rate and xp limits we now have to do few more things dude it is never ending bro this video is way too long so now we have our label message enable and disable well first of all i would like to do this let's do this thing real quick i will just copy this and type else and paste it so first of all the name will be xp label up message so let me just copy it and paste it right here xp level up message enable so if data uh what the hell let me just paste it right here so if where is it uh if data dot xp level up dot enable if it is already enabled uh where is it if it is already enabled we are going to give them the error xp level up message is already enabled and xp system is now enabled and by the way guys by the way let's make this true so that by default we will get xp level up messages all right and xp level up message is already enabled i guess this is it level up message is now enabled pretty simple and now let me just copy paste this thingy right here so xp this xp that and now data let me just do this pretty simple thing and now we have to make a small change right here we will do xp level up dot enable right i guess that's it and let me just paste the damn thing right here so you can see the thingy worked well i will start with the level up message because it is simple to do let me just copy a good looking option this one and now let's do the thing let's rename it to level up message copy it and just paste it and we are not going to bother about much stuff this time cause like i will need to get the level up message now let's just name it message message is equals to data sorry interaction dot options dot get what do we need to get we need to get the message indeed and i guess this is it label up message is done and now we have to do a simple thing well first of all we can do checks like if length is at least three or something but i don't care about that it is totally fine if the length is just two it depends on those guys it is none of my business xp level up message is now changed and i'm not going to show them it is changed to what p level up dot message okay okay let's copy this paste that and let's rename it to message and guess what guys we are done with the level up message command as well so you can see we are doing things pretty quickly but we will have to test all of this shit as well so this shit is going to take long man so now we have to just copy paste the stuff for the xp level up channel xp level up channel dude it is really cringe it is xp level up channel but this thing is level up message so let's name it xp level up as well and let's rename it here as well dude i can't even type xp and we did it so now we are done and now we just have to do a small change once more we need to get the damn channel and interaction or option not get channel and then i guess this is it xp level up channel no this is not it at all so first of all i have to check for few stuff like let's see is equals to a channel it will be interaction dot 
guild.channels.cache.get id will be channel otherwise we can do another thing or the id will be dot substring and the positions will be two comma channel dot length minus one and this is it now what we are going to check is first of all whether well if the channel do not exist and the channel is not equals to zero so what we are doing here is and by the way and we have to check another thing channel is not equals to zero and c dot type is not equals to equals to guild dash text we are either checking if channel do not exist and if it do not exist and the channel is not even equals to zero then this means they provided an invalid channel and we are going to give an error otherwise we are checking if the channel thing exists like c thing exists and the channel this channel is not equals to zero and but the channel type is not equal to get text then we are also going to throw a small error let's just copy paste that stuff and type return so now we will just say type zero for same channel message or give a valid text channel id channel is now changed and let's just change it pretty simple and this will be channel and this thing will be channel as well now let it be equals to channel is equals to zero if it is equals to zero question mark then channel otherwise c dot id so now we just have to do xp ignore channel add and thing is like that so guys first of all in our if check we will check if ignore xp thing already includes the provided channel and of course the channel will be equals to the channel because yes the name of this thing is channel and we are already getting that so we are checking whether that thing already exists there and if it do then we will simply say yo nerd this channel is already ignored find one and update copy paste dude i can't even copy paste i hate myself so paste x we can here do we will do dollar push and then we will do this well we have to push in what category we have to push the stuff in ignore xp property and then the thing will be equals to the channel of course we will do channel or channel dot id what do we have to do i mean what is the type the type is seven i guess let me check the type is six bro the type is seven what am i doing i'm stupid i guess i am so guys we will do channel dot id because we we have we are going to do that so you can see the ignore xp increment thing is done to do the remove ignore xp thing let me just copy paste the stuff and instead of add let's add this and add this and we will do this channel is not disabled for xp increment and i guess this is it and if the thing is true then we will need to enable it and of course i forgot to do the main thing let me just say now the mentioned channel is ignored and let's copy paste the stuff and instead of not i will just put nothing and of course we have to do pull instead of push and i think we can provide the channel id uh, well because uh, we have to provide either the condition or the value so we are literally providing the value and for condition you can do stuff like dollar in and provide an array where this thing will exist and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so now our thing is done we have to test all of this thing and then we are good to go but anyways guys the old channel i mean the old server where i used to test no more exist so i will need to make one myself and how the heck i do that all right for me and my friends server name will be testo of course why it sounds like testo to uh, at least so now we have to enable our, the damn bot where is it so first of all we will enable the xp system and it is now enabled so guys now we have to check few things first of all we will check for whether the xp rate thing can be changed or not xp and then we will do xp dash rate and the rate value will be this if it works then it is a big issue and we got a cool looking error what is it cast to number failed for value n a n at path xp rate uh xp rate is changed to object object what the hell so guys we will need to check this out real quick xp rate xp rate the value will be changed to rate divided by 10 uh this is not looking good so what is the value of rate rate is equal to interaction dot options dot get rate 
uh, this don't make sense let's log the thing control plus slash control plus c crs all right guys the get function totally sucks it returns stuff like this and i totally hate my life for doing so so we're going to make few changes first of all let me do it real quick so the rate will be get uh, get integer and then the ul thing will be get integer as well this will be get integer as well and this will be get a string and here comes the issue here comes the issue bro so we have get a string we can do this we will get string or we will get the channel and we will do this and we will do this so now the now this thing will work trust me it will work from now on and let's do slash xp and the xp rate will be like 69 and let's see if it works and boom it works so the rate thing is changed and let's test another thing like can we change it to something like this and i guess we cannot thank you very much and after that we will need to check few more things so first of all let's remove that now we have to check for xp limit slash xp and then the xp limits so there is a small issue these properties are optional so i have to do one thing if not dl and not ul then we will do return so if we have to do this thing otherwise we are going to get two errors so we will just return if none was provided and we will say please provide either of the xp increment limit that is up or down so we do this and we just have to do one more thing now we will do dl is equals to dl we will do dl is equals to dl otherwise data dot xp limit dot up and then we will do the same for ul it will be equals to ul otherwise xp limit dot up so that's it we have to do this and everything else will work and i guess this is it do we have to check anything else nope we do not and now just let me show you that the thing is works so first of all if i go to slash xp and then the xp limits and if i just send it i will get this error you can see and then if i do xp limits once more up limit will be 5 and the down limit will be 10 i should get an error and boom we get it please provide valid xp increment limit from 1 to 10 and let me just add few more things to that message as well and that will be and up limit should be more than down limit so guys this is it what else do we have to check xp level up message enable and disable well guys you can see that everything works that let me just check for xp level up channel xp level up channel and the channel id will be equals to zero this should work and this is changed and if i do this once more and this time if i provide some invalid id i get this error and if i just provide a valid channel id for like this one then this will work and let me just show you one more thing if i literally mention the damn channel it will still work just watch me go you can see that thing work so that's how our stuff will work everything works now and thanks a lot for watching let i will like to test ignore xp thing as well let me make another channel and let's name it this let me copy the id and let's go here and slash xp ignore xp dash ignore channel add well let's ch test where channel remove and id will be this so you can see what i'm going to get is the error what is the error so guys we will need to do a small change like you can do you can see when the ch channel type is channel i mean this channel type so you cannot get a string you will get an error so we are going to do this we are going to do get dot value instead pretty big brain i will say well no it is just simple logic we will be able to do the damn thing we wanted to do and there is one more issue how the heck i'm not getting an error uh, this should this should be an error bro but anyways so slash xp xp dash ignore add 
and the channel will be equals to this and enter so now you can see now the mentioned channel will have the xp increment limit so if i do slash xp xp ignore and then the remove ignore remove and channel will be equals to this what will i get will i get an error you know this channel is not disabled for xp increment so if i do this once more and add the channel for xp increment what will happen guys now the mention channel will not get xp increment so now i should be able to you know what i should be able to remove it right and yes now this channel is not disabled for xp increment so things works now so now you guys can see that everything works and i guess thanks a lot for watching the video in next video what i will be doing is uh, i don't know man uh, i will do something let's think i will do the ignore role label reward and stuff like that and for then bye and thanks a lot for watching